Hello, today we are going to learn about isometric projection and how to apply its appropriate scale. In an isometric projection, all angles between the X, Y and Z axonomic axes are equal. Specifically, they are 120 degrees apart. To produce an isometric projection, you orientate the object that you want to draw so that its principal edges or axes make equal angles with the plane of projection and are therefore reduced in scale equally. It is an anometric projection in which the three coordinate axes appear equally smaller. So today we are going to learn how to calculate this isometric scale representing a cube with a given side L, as can be seen on the top left of the screen. The length L can be any measurement that you choose. So we are going to start by setting our compass on the origin O and with a radius slightly longer than our given side L, we are going to transport this length onto the three axes, as can be seen here. Now, where the compass has cut the X and the Y axis, we are going to join these marks with a horizontal line, as can be seen here. So the next step is to elongate the Z axis below the origin, as shown here. And where this line intersects the previously drawn horizontal line, it is going to be the center point of the next arc that we are going to draw. So, setting our compass on this new point and with a radius to one end of the horizontal line, we are going to draw a semicircle, as can be seen here. This semicircle cuts the Z axis elongation at a new point, which we will call O in brackets. Now we are going to join this point O in brackets with both ends of the horizontal line as can be seen here. These two lines, which we will call X in brackets and Y in brackets, represent the real magnitudes of the X and the Y axis, which can be seen here highlighted with red triangles to show that they are all the same length. So now setting the compass to the given length L, we are going to transport it onto X in brackets axis by setting the compass on the compass on the X, the O in brackets origin. So here we set the compass to the given length L and we set the compass on the O in brackets origin. We're going to transport this onto the X in brackets axis, as can be seen here. And we will get a new point, which we will call A in brackets. So now to reduce this measurement onto the X axis, we have to draw a perpendicular vertical line from point A in brackets until it cuts the X axis at a new point, which we will call A as can be seen here. So now setting the compass on the original origin O and with the radius OA, we are going to transport this reduced length onto the other two axes Z and Y. Okay. And now from each of these new points, we are going to draw parallel lines until we complete the cube. So first, we're going to draw the top back side of the cube with a parallel line to the Y axis and another parallel line to the Y axis on the other side of the cube. And now we're going to draw from the same point, parallel to the X axis. And 
And now to finish the back of the cube, we will draw parallel to the Z axis, as can be seen here, joining our previously drawn points. So now that we have completed the back side of the cube, now in a thicker line, we're going to complete the front side of the cube. So first line parallel to the Y axis and the top part of the cube also parallel to the Y axis. Now we're going to continue in a thicker line, drawing parallel to the x-axis. So we're completing the top part of the cube as you can be seen here. And now the front, bottom front part of the cube, which is visible. And finally, the last parts of the cube that are visible to us, parallel to the z-axis. So now we have the cube completed in thicker lines. So now that we have the cube completed in a thicker line, you can see highlighted in orange, the real magnitude of L on the X in brackets axis and the reduced length on the isometric projection. These two lines form different angles with the horizontal line. The isometric measurement forms a 30 degree angle and the real Magnitude forms a 45 degree angle with the horizontal line. So now we are going to explain another method to get an isometric scale based on these two special angles of 45 degrees and 30 degrees. So we start by drawing a horizontal line and pick an origin O on this line. From this point O, we draw two lines, one at 30 degrees and the other at 45 degrees. The 45 degree line is going to represent the real magnitude and the 30 degree line is going to represent the isometric projection. So here we have a given real length O P in brackets and from the point P in brackets we draw a vertical perpendicular line and where it cuts the 30 degree line X we obtain the reduced isometric measurement. You can use this method to get any isometric measurement and then transport it onto the main isometric drawing in order to keep the main drawing neater and tidier as there will be less construction lines. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. Until the next time, thank you very much.